Now Sports with Sports Director Paul Gerke. Despite today's date, there is no love lost between Boise State and Fresno State in any sport. Last season, the Bronco men saw any hope of an NCAA tournament berth dashed in an embarrassing 20-point loss to the Bulldogs. Boise State hoped to avoid a similar fate this evening, but first, a moment of silence for former Fresno State and UNLV coach Jerry Tarkinian, who was honored with a white towel slung over an empty seat on the Bulldogs bench. Derek Marks doing Tark proud. He carried the Broncos early. Fresno guard Cesar Guerrero answered on the other end. All hail Cesar for three. But on Valentine's Day, Derek Marks was heartless. He answers with a jumper. Then a little later, Rob Heyer comes off the bench to provide a spark. Nine points total for him, including three the hard way here. The Bulldogs can do that too. Julian Lewis gets the circus shot to fall, plus a trip to the stripe. He scored 15. Harris led the dogs with 24, and despite 31 points from Marks, Fresno State knocks off BSU 70-64. The Broncos were gassed in the closing minutes thanks to a short bench provided by injuries and the suspensions of guards Montego Alford and Mikey Thompson. Boise State's eight-game Mountain West winning streak comes to an end with an ugly loss in California. Entering today's meeting, the Bronco women had lost 11 consecutive games to the top-ranked Bulldogs, but Mikel Askew is 50 shades of great. The Broncos starting center goes off glass to open the scoring and then she gets position on the next trip and finishes for three points the old fashioned way. Mikkel, I must ask you to be my Valentine. She scored Boise State's first eight points and tallied a game high 23 on the afternoon. It took almost six and a half minutes for someone else to get on the board. Tanisha Childress does it with the jumper. Fresno State would pull away a little later in the first. Back to back triples from Alex Furr. But the Broncos avoid a 12 straight heartbreak. Boise State beats Fresno State 75-66 in overtime, improving to 8-4 in conference play. With a victory in their home finale, the College of Idaho men could do something that hasn't been done in Caldwell in 28 years, finish back-to-back -back perfect seasons in their own barn. The Yotes put their 30-game home winning streak on the line against Corbin. On senior night, four ladies and seven fellas honored before tip-off. Scott Garson started an all-senior lineup, and it paid off immediately. Joe Vaz corrals the loose ball and kisses it off glass for two. The Warriors answered with a bucket, but then so does Vaz. Forget Valentine's Day, send flowers in condolence to the family of that rim. A little later, the Coyotes keep coming. Sidney Donaldson misses a lay-in, but gets his own miss and puts it back. And then Vaz shows his jumper is straighter than Cupid's arrow. Boink! How could you not love these Yotes? Five scored in double figures. The seniors combined for 84 points. And the C of I wins easily, 95-76, completing back-to-back -back perfect seasons in their own gym. The Coyote women utilized a 13-1 run midway through the first half to pull away from the Warriors, then close things out down the stretch. Already up double digits, Kelly Ross beats the shot clock for two. Then Kylie Jaffick finds a hole in the Corbin zone. You're supposed to take that shot, and she does. A bit later, Ross can't find a teammate to pass it to, so she fires from three and fills it up. Buckets must have been marked 50% off a little early for Alicia Hensey. She led all scores with 21 points in this one. The College of Idaho tops Corbin 66-53. Hats off to the Oats, who clinched their 16th straight postseason appearance. The Cascade Conference women's tourney begins February 24th. Finally, some icing on your Valentine's Day cupcake. Grizzlies and Steelheads. First runner Jack Campbell back in net tonight. He looks sharp early. As the Beatles said, all you need is glove. But life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. And Campbell gets coconuts here off his own man skate and in. Utah up one zip. But the Steelies will get it back. Wade McLeod shelves it in the slot. He scored three consecutive goals for Idaho going back to last night. He tallied another one in the third. The Steelies win it 4-1. The first ECHLW for Campbell. Here's a live look at Boise from the Ford Dealers Tower Cam. A final check with Adam Beerman for your underside forecast is coming up next.